Thank you, Sean Riley, Mayor of the City of Waukesha. Today we experienced a horrible, senseless tragedy. I walked in the parade at the beginning. I saw all the happy children sitting on the curb. I saw all the happy parents behind their children. I can still see the smiling faces. A parade is a celebration for our community. Today our community faced horror and tragedy in what should have been a community celebration. I'm deeply saddened to know that so many in our community went to a parade but ended up dealing with injury and heartache. My heart goes out to all those affected by this senseless act. My heart goes out to those injured as well as to their families. My heart goes out to those who were witness to these events. My heart goes out to those who lost a loved one tonight. I want to thank all those who sprang into action tonight to provide help and comfort to those who were injured. I pray for all those that were injured that they recover. I pray for those who lost a loved one. Thank you to our police and fire departments as well as um, many others that have uh, helped the city of Waukesha. There's other departments, the county, uh, the state, uh, the federal government has contacted me. They've all um, asked how they can help. I know that um, our first responders are also deeply affected by the events of today, and I pray for them and that they find healing and that everyone involved in this situation finds healing. Chief. Thank you, Mayor. Today's tragic incident occurred on November 21st, 2021 at 4.39 p.m. at the Gasper Avenue and Main Street. The Waukesha Christmas Parade was taking place when a red SUV drove through the barricades westbound heading down Main Street. Can you speak up, please? Yes, I can. The vehicle struck more than 20 individuals. Some of the individuals were children and there were some fatalities as a result of this incident. We will not be releasing information on the fatalities at this time while we are working on notifying the family members of the deceased. An officer did discharge his weapon at the suspect vehicle to try to stop the vehicle. No bystanders were injured as a result of the weapon discharge. The officer involved has, a six, has been with the department for six and a half years. Victims were transferred by Waukesha Fire Department to the hospital. Chief Howard will speak on that. Police officers also transferred victims to the hospital and family members also transferred uh, victims from the scene to the hospital. We're no longer looking for a suspect vehicle. We do have a person of interest in custody at the moment, but this is still a very fluid investigation. I was present at this tragic event and saw firsthand the resiliency of the community coming together. I also want to thank all law enforcement partners, both federal, state DCI, state patrol, Washoe County Sheriff's Department, Brookfield Police Department, New Berlin Police Department, FBI, ATF, and all our other partners who responded to assist in this tragedy. It's unknown at this time whether the incident has any nexus to terrorism. To the families involved, you are in Waukesha Police Department thoughts and prayers. To the Waukesha community, the scene is now safe and secure. I'll take a few questions. Um, thank you. I was just going to provide just some brief information regarding the patients that we transported. Um, the city of Waukesha was actually part of the parade. We normally have an engine in the parade. As um, soon as the calls started coming in, um, we heard radio traffic and re immediately responded from five of our stations. Um, we activated our mass casualty protocols um, and used the um, Mabus box alarm system and uh, activated a box to the second alarm. That means that we received a assistance not only from our five fire stations with all personnel on duty, um, but from approximately 12 other uh, fire departments. Um, the City of Waukesha Fire Department and its partner, its partners in Mavis transported a total of 11, of 11 adults and 12 pediatric patients to six area hospitals. Um, we do not have any specifics on the, on the injuries at, at this time. Um, all of the patients were transported. Um, there are uh, 
uh, there were some fatalities. Um, we do not have any detailed information on the fatalities at this time. Just real quick, I'm sorry, Chief. I was going to say you might want to mention. Okay. We'll open up for a few questions for all three. How many people were, Chief how many people were killed? So, out of respect for the uh, family members, we still have to make notifications. Um, so that number, and to be honest with you, the, the investigation is still fluid, so I don't have an exact number at, at this time to give you. The marching band that you see in the video, what school was that? Those, the marching band with the car go through. I, I couldn't even tell you uh, what what band was, was playing at, at Chief, that time. The shelter in place alert was issued at 7.05. It said an all clear would come. That has not come. Can you elaborate? Yes, great question. So the reason why that shelter in place call came because we're still doing a canvas, it's still ongoing crime, crime scene. So we didn't want members of the community coming into the crime scene. So we wanted the members of the community to shelter in place. So that's why that uh, alert went out. So is that still in effect? Is that still in effect, Chief? No, it, it is not. Was there only one suspect in the car? Was that person struck by the officer who was fired? That's still an ongoing investigation of how many are involved at this time. We're still working those details out. Mayor, can you confirm that schools are closed tomorrow? Are all schools in Walker Shop closed tomorrow? That's it. Chief Earth, I don't know. Go ahead. We do not know at this time. That. One you question. said earlier that how long do you expect the streets to be closed? Yeah, excuse me. Earlier you said you were unaware of any uh, gunshots from the vehicle. We heard a lot about it on social media. Can you clarify right now that the suspect driving the car at this not time? A, a we don't. We do not believe there's any shots that were fired from the vehicle. We believe that the officers discharged a firearm to stop the vehicle. What did the person because the, the vehicle went through the barricade? What did the person of interest say when you took him into custody? Uh, that, that's still unknown at this at this time. This that's all the questions we're going to take right now. We will be putting more information. Any more information will come out in the city's social media accounts in regards to a further press conference or further information. That's all we can put out tonight at this time. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.